I'm excited to be speaking with you. Totally, I'm excited too. So I know we're here today to talk about your new film, Black Beauty. What can you tell me about your audition process? My audition process was, okay, well, I did a short film with the director. So I originally auditioned for her for that short film and she cast me in that. So she already had me in mind um, sort of for the role. And she told me not immediately, but like a few months later, we had kept in contact. We just worked really well together and um, she, she's amazing. And um, so she told me she... Uh, there could potentially be a role that she thought I would be really right for. And then basically just sent my materials to the producers. And she was like, if they say yes, then you can play Jennifer. So a little bit of a less typical audition process. <laughs> what was your reaction when you found out that you booked the part? Oh my gosh. I like called her and I was crying and it was, I was at a summer program. So I wasn't at home or with my mom. Um, and I called my mom and it, it, it was wild. It was really surreal. That's amazing. So how would you describe Jennifer? Jennifer is, she's a bit of a mean girl. Um, she's very gossipy. Uh, she's, I would say she's passionate though. She rides a lot. Mm -hmm. She's very opinionated, um, but she's definitely a little bit more um, antagonistic, which, which was fun. Have you ever played like an antagonist role before? Actually, the short film that I did with Ashley, the director, I played a very different kind of role, but like in that film, I played a little bit of a, a sociopath kind of thing. So I guess she was she was antagonistic, but in a very, a very different, um, more malicious, but less like overtly bad way. So that was interesting. It must be fun to play different roles for you. And I know Black Beauty is based off of a book. Did you read the book to prepare for the film or what did you do for your character study? I didn't read the book to prepare for the film because my character isn't in the book. And also um, I had read it when I was younger and the adaptation, the script, I think is while taking key elements um, is def definitely modernizes it and you know makes Joe a much bigger part and a girl and makes the horse a girl. So I use the script really as my, as my um, point of contact there. I, was, I, I read the script a lot and I looked into like equestrian YouTube channels I wanted to get into like the competitive rider kind of mindset so I watched a lot of those videos and I have a close friend who's a horse rider so I was always asking her like what does this part of the horse do and what kind of what are the horses that someone who um you know rides competitively would have and and I used her as a point of contact um, and I also really enjoyed just watching like some of my favorite sort of mean girl performances for little bits of, of inspiration. That's great though. It's always good to be nice and prepared for a role. And I know you mentioned that you watch equestrian videos. Were you very familiar with horses? Have you ever like rode them before the film? I grew up in London um, and there you can ride in the park and there are like little muses in the city um, that have, have barns in them, which is really awesome. And so when I was younger, I was very lucky to get to ride, not super often, but um, definitely a few times. I definitely had sort of, you know, I was definitely a bit of a horse girl for a while there, but I was also a ballet dancer. So my teacher, she told me, you know, you have to choose like ballet or horse riding, you know, if you really like horse riding, but ballet is your, your main thing. Apparently they strengthen very different muscles and it's sort of counter, they counteract one another. So that's my, my horse story, but. And where did you shoot the film? In South Africa. So oh. in and around Cape Town. Um, yeah, so not not New York, <laughs> although that would have been a lot closer. <laughs> Had you ever been there before? Is this Or this like was your first time traveling for a project? I have traveled only, I've traveled a lot in the U.S. for different projects, but never internationally. So that was awesome. And I went to South Africa with my family when I was very young. Um, so I have some good memories, but not a ton of memories because I was really quite little. Um, but it was awesome to, to get to go back and to get to travel internationally. Did you explore the area when you weren't filming? Do you have any fond memories from maybe like going with your castmates or just on your own and exploring the, the area? Yes, totally. Um, there was a day where um, me and Kenzie, Mackenzie Foy and Callum, Callum Lynch, who plays her love interest, the three of us um, had like a little day when we all had an off day. Um, 
and we went to, there was a mall by where all of us were staying. And so we went there and then it was also sort of like on a, on a waterfront, which was really beautiful. So we walked around there and we had lunch at a pizza place um, and sort of explored a little bit the neighborhood that we were staying in. Um, and we tried to go, we tried to do one of the big hikes, um, but it, it was closed that day because of wind. You have to, you know, um, take a gondola up, but that was not not working, unfortunately. <laughs> that sounds fun, though, to explore the area with your castmates. That must have been a really memorable really experience for you. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm not sure if you can hint too much, but do you have a favorite scene that you filmed in the movie that maybe you can like share a little bit about? <sighs> totally. Um, there is a little scene where um, I'm with, I have like a best friend and we're always together in it, you know, kind of like a duo of mean girls, Jasmine, who is played by Alex Jeevan. And so there's a scene where we are talking not so nicely um, about like beauty is there. Um, and basically I say something and Joe pushes me into a pile of fake manure and hay. Um, and I got to like improvise this really sort of bratty reaction, which was really fun. And it also weirdly felt really good because um, it, it was very much a padded fall because it was hay and it was fake horse poop. Um, and so it was really fun to do that, do the push and the ball. Um, and Mackenzie was like, am I hurting you? I was like, no, it's great, it's great. Um, so yeah, that scene was, is a favorite of mine and was really fun to film. That sounds like a fun one. And did you have like a typical day on set? What was your routine like? I don't know if I had a typical day because there were days where, because the bulk, the bulk of my scenes are with Jasmine and Alex Jeevan, there were days when it was, uh, you know, the two of us and then some of the main cast members. Mm -hmm. But then there were other days where Fern Deacon, who plays Georgina, and Callum who plays George and Max who plays James when there were more sort of young people around. And there were days where we filmed um, two days and the first two days were so fun. We filmed um, the sort of horse, fancy horse event um, scene. And so that was all of us and that was so much fun. So I don't know if they were definitely long days um, but I wouldn't say I have like a super typical day and of course, there's always a lot of, you know, waiting and, oh, but it was, it was all so fun. I, I can't believe it was about a year ago. That's crazy. Yeah. The movie comes out in a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. November 27th. It's so exciting. I, yeah. When the news came out, I was, it's just insane. Like it's a, it's a Disney movie. That's so incredibly exciting. Are you planning on having like maybe a mini like premiere party or something virtual to share the film with your maybe your friends and family maybe I think some friends have expressed the want and I'm like no guys like it's not that much of me you know <laughs> don't get your hopes up um but I think that that would be awesome and I think Ashley expressed wanting to do it there are so many amazing crew members and stuff and wanting to get us together on on a big zoom to sort of um I don't know discuss reactions or watch simultaneously or something like that which would be awesome do you have any other like dream projects that you want to work on moving forward in your career hmm. well I mean at this point like I'd love to do there's so much I'd love to do <laughs> I was gonna say anything but um yeah I think I am reading Hamlet in school and I'm really into it and I'm really into my idea, my idea of doing like an all girls film adaptation of Hamlet set at a boarding school. So <laughs> I would love to do that. I would love, um, yeah, I really like Shakespeare and Shakespearean adaptations. I would love to do a horror movie, you know, one that's more sort of psychological. I think we've seen with Jordan Peele and everything, such a, a cool resurgence of that genre in a way that's not only like scary, but also um, very smart and insightful, those movies. Um, but yeah, honestly, anything. I love like a, bla like a black comedy, a dark comedy, like Heather's or The End of the Effing World. That kind of a thing I feel like is really my, my sort of, uh, I don't know, zone. That would be amazing. And you mentioned you're in school. What are you studying at the moment? I am in high school. So oh, wow. I am in my, yeah, I'm in my senior year of high school. So I am studying, I'm taking two English classes. 
um, and we're both reading, in both of them, we're reading Hamlet in the moment, but then we're going to move on to different things and math, statistics, advanced physics, French, and I'm just listing my courses, creative writing, um, political thought. It's exciting, but I am hoping to study dramatic writing or English. In that was my college. next question. I know you're from New York. Are you hoping to maybe move out to LA or do some more theater, theater something you're interested in being in New York or more of like screen acting? Both are very much equally. I would love to do theater. I don't have professional experience. I've done school plays and stuff, um, but I would love very much to do both. I don't know about LA. I have mixed feelings about LA and I feel like if I can, you know, acting is very, very much what I want, what I want to pursue and screen acting too. But I feel like, you know, there is that opportunity here in New York too. And also um, a lot of auditions now are self tapes or Zoom. So um, I know my dogs, uh, the, the move is perhaps not as necessary. I know you're really big into like style and fashion. Do you have any fashion tips for any of your fans? Fashion tips. Um, I would say just like try not to be swayed by other people's, I think it's amazing to take inspiration from people, but like if someone says to you, oh, you know, if you're wearing something you feel confident in, or if it's a little out there and someone's like, what's that? You know, they're just, they're just jealous because they're not uh, as brave in their fashion as you are. So don't be swayed by other people's opinions. You know, think about what you feel comfortable in, what you feel confident in, what you feel expresses yourself um and just like go with that and also I think be open to like an evolution I feel like I look at my fashion even like two years ago I'm like oh god I I have so, so much I, I dress so much more cool now or whatever but um yeah those would be my tips same here that's amazing I really like fashion as well so I wanted to ask awesome. you about that and then where totally. can follow you on social media and stay connected with you and all your projects for sure um my Instagram is Sasha Nastasi. So just my name. It's a little hard to spell <laughs> um, because I'm S-A-S-C-H-A. And then... I'll write it in the little description so everyone can... Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I... Ha I don't really use Twitter much or... What are the other social media? I have Pinterest. I think definitely check out my Pinterest. <laughs> um, that's one of my favorite social medias. Also Letterboxd. Letterbox is so awesome for, it's like you can track the movies that you've watched and you can rate them and you can follow friends. Um, I love, I love watching movies very, very much. So that's cool. So my letterbox is, I think Sasha Nastasi also. My Pinterest is Sasha Sasha 126. So. <laughs>